All right. So the first thing I do on my piece of paper is I decide what my framework is. All right. In this case, I like to create the frame that I'm going to paint in so that I know where I'm going. Sometimes if we just start on a piece of paper, we tend to draw as we read and we go from left to right and all of a sudden we go, oh, I, for, I ran out of space. I didn't leave enough room for his elbow or for his boot. So simply by drawing a, a box around here, I've made a decision as to how big my image area is going to be. And so I can measure in consciously from right, left, up or down to get the shapes that I want. Okay. So secondly is if I do get a good painting, I've left a little bit of a margin all the way around. So if I decide I want to mat and frame it, I can drop a mat on here and I haven't covered anything up. Okay. Um, when I'm, when I'm doing this, you know, and I know I'm going to frame it, I will measure out a, a predetermined size. Um, if you go to any frame store or mat, place where you can buy mats and frames, you will see that there are standard frame sizes. For instance, a 16 by 20 frame will usually come with a, a mat that leaves room for an 11 by 14 opening. Likewise, if you have an 11 by 14 frame, it will come with uh, a mat that usually has room for an 8 by 10 opening uh, or an 8, 9 by 12 sometimes. Anyway, the point being is it's a good idea to measure out your image area. It fits that opening. So it's easy to simply drop a, a mat and frame on it and you've got a nicely presented piece. Otherwise, if you just do it like I used to do it, I would just do a, a painting and it would be a rectangle, but an odd sized rectangle, in which case I'd have to get a specialty mat cut and a specialty frame built. And usually that'll cost you 250 to $350 just to do that. So a lot cheaper to think ahead. Okay, so we're going to get started here. I've got my, my frame and I'm just going to start with, I see I'm going to put his, I want to make sure that his hat's up here at the top, you know, and then I pick, make a tick mark down here where's where I want his feet to be. And then I take sort of a rough measurement as to where his midpoint is, in which case this is where his belt in his lower part of his tunic, uh, his jacket show up. So this just helps me establish proportions so that I don't run out of space when I do that. So we're going to just start by looking here and I'm just trying to get the shapes in that I want. <clears throat> 